when working in Umbrago, you might want to reuse different components on different views in your website. With partial views, you can do exactly this. It lets you reuse components in different views of your Umbrago project. In this video, we're going to have a look at how you can use these partial views. My name is Jonathan, and let's have a look at it together. Okay, as you can see here, we have my Umbrago website. It has a big banner up here. We have some content down here, some blocks, a bit more content, and down below we have a footer. So let's say that we want to use some of this as a partial view. First, let's log into the back office here. And here we have my content section where I have a bit of content. Let's go to the settings section over here. And let's first have a look at our main template over here. In here, we can see that we have some of the, the code already, and we actually already have a partial view used here, navigation. We have the Jumbotron here. We have our content rendered out in the body here. And then we have the footer down below. So let's say that we want to create a partial view for our Jumbotron and a partial view for our footer as well. To do this, we can go down to partial views here. We can see that we already have a bit in here and click the three dots over here. If we click create, we get a few options. We can create a new empty partial view. We can create a partial view from a snippet. Let's have, just have a quick look. It can be empty. We can have some breadcrumbs, edit profile, and a whole lot of other things. For example, a login or a navigation bar. So we can create some partial views based off snippets as well, which will save us a lot of time. Here, we already have most of the code that we need. So we can just go ahead and create an empty partial view. Let's call this Jumbotron, Jumbotron partial. And let's go and first save it and go to the master here. Here in the master template, we have the Jumbotron as we saw before, and we can just take it and uh, cut it out here. Let's just save it. And let's go to the Jumbotron partial here and paste in the code. Awesome. All there is to do is now save it. And then we need to render it out in our master template as well. We can do this by writing the following code here. So we can render it out here, writing uh, add await HTML dot partial async and the name of our partial. So Yombo Yombo Tron partial. So if we go ahead and save it and let's just have a look at the front end up here. There's no changes because we're still rendering out our Jumbotron. It's just now in a partial views. So it's still being displayed at the same place as before. So there's no changes, but we're still using a partial view now. If we do the same for the footer, we can go down here. Let's just take the footer code here, save it as well. And let's create a new partial view here. Again, just an empty partial view called footer partial. We add the code here, save it. And in the main template, we under the footer comment here, we do the same as before. So write await HTML dot partial async. And then footer partial. If we save it, refresh our page over here again and scroll down to the bottom, we can see we can see that again the footer is still being displayed. Cool. So in this way you can use partial views to render out different things, different components on your website. Awesome. In this short video, you've seen how 
you can create partial views and use them in your Umbrago project in the views. Now it's your turn to go out there, create some partial views and use them on your project. That's all I have for you in this video. My name is Jonathan and I'll see you in the next one. Jonathan out.